Hey guys, it was while I was reviewing my iPhone 14 Pro Max and its photographic capabilities down at the beach in my little beach landscape photography video that I shot that I came to the realization that I really needed to get a decent tripod mount of some kind for this phone. And like most of us do when I go searching for new technology, I hit up Amazon. And before you know it, I had 15 bloody tabs open with all different kinds of weird and wonderful iPhone slash smartphone, tripod holders, selfie stands, you name it. And it was while I was doing that research that this company's name kept coming up repeatedly, a company called Leo Photo. In fact, I saw more than a few comments referencing Leo Photo alongside the famed tripod manufacturers, Gitzo. And so I started looking at those Leo Photo products and that led me to a couple of products in particular, one of which is a tripod, which I haven't yet received, but will of course be reviewing on this channel. But the other item is the aforementioned selfie stick slash smartphone tripod holder. Now I got my Leo Photo PS2 in the post about a week ago and I wanted to share my opinions on that product with you guys. They can get sent this for free. This isn't a paid for review of any kind. I pay my own hard earned cash for this product. And this is my honest and learned opinion on this particular gizmo. So here is the device in question, pretty slimline box, not a lot to it. And inside you've got the holder itself and a little bag containing a hex key to join the 14 million others I have uh, sat in a drawer somewhere and there's a warranty card and a user manual which you don't really need it's not a complicated device so let's talk about build quality first and it is beautifully made without a shadow of a doubt it's made from aircraft grade machined aluminium and it is a little bit of heft to it not too much that you wouldn't think about sticking it in the bag because it's weighing you down but enough that you know it's going to last you quite a long time. It has of course got these legs which fold out and the hex key that came in the packaging is for retentioning it should it become loose but it's nice and stiff right now exactly the right sort of tension that I'd want to hold my smartphone nice and securely. So this is the main part of this clever little selfie stand. This is where the smartphone fits in and as you can see you can get a pretty sizable phone in there. These springs feel very heavy duty and they've got a beautifully smooth action on them. I've got no doubt at all that they'll last me quite a long time too. On the top, we've got a cold shoe mount. So you can stick a light or a microphone or whatever you fancy on the top. On the bottom of the main part of the stand is a quarter inch tripod screw so you can attach any standard tripod plate to it but and this is the really lovely little ingenious thing about this these legs are an Arca Swiss tripod plate so you don't need to screw in a tripod plate to that at all you if you've got an Arca Swiss tripod as most people seem to do these days I know all of mine are Arca Swiss you can simply just put that in the top of the tripod and you're away so let's show it in action. You just put the phone in like this, sits in there like quite nicely, and then you just open up the old legs there to create a nice stable surface and put it down on the table. So this is obviously the landscape orientation. If you're on the shitter watching a YouTube video, you might have it in this orientation. Uh, but it has, of course, got a portrait orientation too. And to use that, you just slide the phone up a little bit and twist and then you've got a nice solid upright position and you can bring this quite far forward 
uh, and it's nice and stable. The base of the legs have got little rubber grips on them. Big one there and two small ones there, so it sits nice and stably on the table. It's the ideal thing to have sort of next to your laptop or your computer when you're working away and you can have your music going on it, all that kind of stuff. So this is the selfie stand mode and it can of course be used as a sort of mini tripod if you want to. So you just fold in the legs like this, twist it round and use it like that, talk into it or put the thing down, put it into landscape mode and shoot that way, either filming yourself or filming around you. So there you go, guys. That's the ins and outs of this little Leo Photo PS2 selfie stand slash tripod mount. Now, when I was researching this, there were, of course, tons of other devices that I saw from companies like Niwa, Manfrotto, I'm sure you've seen them yourself, uh, some of which were cheaper than this. In fact, this was definitely up the high end. It was 119 Australian dollars. And I have to say, I do not mind that price at all. Now I've had this thing for about a week and seen how beautifully engineered it is, how wonderfully designed it is. Uh, I really, really like it. And I think it's worth every cent of the 120 bucks I paid for it. And it gives me high hopes for the large travel tripod from Leo Photo, which I'm expecting in the post within the next week or two. So if you're in the market for a smartphone holder for your tripod, something to adapt uh, your smartphone so you can stick it on a tripod mount, and the idea of having something which is so versatile as this and can work brilliantly as a little iPhone stand as well, then the Leo Photo PS2 comes highly recommended by me. All right, guys, that'll do us for this little review. Have I just ticked a box in your kit bag that you didn't know needed ticking? Are you suddenly sitting there thinking to yourself, gee, I quite fancy a selfie stand myself. I think I'll have a look on Amazon. If you do feel so inclined, leave us a comment down here in the comment section below and let me know if you've got something like this or another kind of smartphone holder and how you find it. Is it quality product? Is it serving you well? Do you think it's going to last you as long as I think this one's going to last me? I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about it. If you enjoyed this little review, please give us a like. Hit the old thumbs up down there. And if you like my style of delivery and the content that I am producing, consider subscribing. The old big red button over on the right there on your screen. All right, guys, till the next time, ta-ta.